Hello everybody and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. I am as always your incredibly smart, handsome, talented, and amazing host DA Video and thank you all so very much for joining me. Now, if you guys remember the last part, we were looking for some work because we owe 500 bucks to an evil landlord. So we're going to help out an old lady who lives in this apartment. The old lady's name is Sideshow Bob, and she is going to give me some... Like, I totally wonder if Mrs. Terwilliger still needs my help cleaning her apartment. I hope I'm not too late to lend her a hand. Then again, Dark F did mention I could work coat check tonight and I could use the money. Knock on door. Who could that be at this hour, you young whippersnappers? Hello? Who is there? Uh, it's like totally me, man. DA video. Oh, come right in, you yipper snapper. Ha. What? Hey, Mrs. Twilliger, dude. I'm here to help clean up. Oh, you're a little late for that, DA video. It's all right, though. I managed to get it all done myself. Still, I'm glad you came. You're such a good kid. Well, then I guess you don't need me, then, like... Right, bro? I was just about to sit down to dinner. Would you like to join me? Hmm. I was thinking of going to work coat check down to the club, dude. I am pretty hungry, though, man. What's for dinner? Always. If somebody offers you food, always accept. Always. I don't care who you are. I'll accept it. So, dude, what's for dinner, man? It's a fresh lamb stew. You're gonna love it. Come and have a seat. We don't want you getting it cold. It sounds great, man. You won't believe how hungry I am. Well, there's plenty to eat, so don't you worry about it if you want seconds. <laughs> Dude. I don't know why I chose this guy. <laughs> I wonder sometimes. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, dude, but didn't you say that you were expecting guests earlier? Don't tell me I'm the only one who came, dude. I mean, that's like totally lame, man. Ah, uh, I never explained, did I? Tonight's my beloved Thomas's birthday. Every year we have a special little dinner together. I tidy up the house like he prefers to make his favorite meal. An old-fashioned stew. You're so old that it was fashioned once upon a time. Oh, that sounds really nice, man. When's he coming, dude? Ah, uh, well, he's not exactly. Thomas is my husband, but he's not with us anymore. I knew it. Oh, I'm, like, totally sorry, man. There's nothing to be sorry about, DA Video. You're so young and handsome that Thomas would, wouldn't mind. We had a wonderful life together, and he's still with me every day in my heart. I'm glad you're here, though. Sometimes today can make me a little emotional. It'd be nice having someone else to talk to for a change. Like, totally. Huh? Salad? Come on, man. Hush! It's good for your digestion. You'll get your stew afterwards. Appetizer. Boom. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, beep, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I love this music, guys. I love it. I'm so glad you decided to join me. It's nice to have young handsome and smart company for a change. Uh, it's like no trouble at all, my lady. It's my pleasure. Really, dude. I appreciate the kindness, DA video. It can be kind of lonely living alone these days. Well, considering I'm eating, considering I'm eating out of a microwave most nights, this is a real treat. Huh? Did that girlfriend of yours cook very often? What was her name? Guys, her name was Butts. Butts! Wasn't it? <laughs> but oh, uh, we need out more often than not, dude. We were both pretty busy, you know, man. Ah, uh, I understand. Life can get pretty hectic nowadays. Life sure does move a lot faster than when I was your age. Huh? How long has it been since you last saw each other? I always remember she was so polite. We'd bump into each other nearly every morning as she was heading out the door for her morning jog. 
It's funny the things you miss about a person can often be what you take for granted. Dot dot dot. The cruel part's that you never know what you're doing it at the time, but such is life, I suppose. Yeah, I guess, dude. I miss her a lot. I really do miss quite. I do really. I really do miss her quite a lot, dude. It's been about a year since we last saw each other. I still don't feel the same, man. Believe me, I understand how you feel. When you're so close to someone, their absence can be hard to deal with. I won't lie to you. That sadness you feel now, now may never, ever, ever go away. You're luckier than I was, though. You still have an opportunity to mend the rift. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Life's changed a great deal for both of us since we parted ways, dude. But not even in the city anymore. I don't think, dude. See if she wanted to get as far away from me as possible, man. A decision like that can be made in an instant, though. Who's to say what it really means? For all you know, Butts could be regretting leaving just as much as you do. I'm not so sure that's true. Things between us ended rather roughly. There's a reason we don't talk, dude. A lot of feelings were hurt. Probably past repair. Be that at his may, you're not a mind reader, DA video. Hey! Hey! I am too a mind reader. A good relationship like the one you had doesn't die so easily. Actions can be amended and feelings can be healed. The only thing that truly divides people is time apart. You can't be so sure you know what's going on in someone else's heart unless you ask them yourself. I suppose you're right about the time apart dividing us, man. I'm not even sure if she's the same person anymore, to be honest, dude. When I look at how much I've changed in the last year, I can't imagine but stayed the same. Ah, uh, you've changed less than you think, DA Video. Call me a nosy neighbor, but I've watched you come and go in this building for a long while now. Tell me what, tell me what you think is so different about you today versus a year ago. You want to know how I've changed since butts left? Uh... I've changed, uh, my lifestyle. I guess the thing that's changed most is my lifestyle, dude. I've really turned myself around over this last year. Started taking better care of myself, dude. Oh, so you're starting to get in a bed at a decent hour, then? Is ordering delivery three times a week a new diet regime? Well, not exactly on either accounts, man. I mean, I'm trying, which is what counts, right, dude? Ah, so no real changes yet. Not so different after all, then. Nah, I guess not, bro. Being the same person you were a year ago doesn't have to be a bad thing unless you think it is. Don't forget, that's who Butts fell in love with when in the first place. Yeah, but it's also who she left, dude. Main course. Huh? So how are you enjoying the stew? It's really quite good. What's the meat in this? That's fresh lamb. I got it from the butcher this morning. Feel free to have as much as you want. I get used to making rather large pots of it. Mmm. Lamb meat. Oh. Every time I'd make it, my Thomas would eat at least four bowls just by himself. There were never any leftovers back in those days, I'm afraid. Huh? He says it quite the character. How'd you meet? It's a funny story, actually. It happened the summer after I finished high school. He was working at a garage near my house, and my father hired him to fix our old jalopy. Oh, wow, look how young she looks. They look, she looks pretty cute. I wasn't working at the time, so when my father asked me to pick up the car for him, I had no choice. I didn't even have a license at the time, so I was terrified the whole day, imagining myself getting at home. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds safe, bruh. How'd you get away with driving illegally like that? It was at a different time back then. We didn't worry about little things like that. I was scared, but that wasn't going to stop me. I hated disappointing my father. So, I showed up to the shop scared out of my wits. And there he was, covered in grease and sweat. A real man's man, if you know what I mean. So just like me, DA Video. 
Thomas could tell immediately I was clueless. Must have asked me if I needed help a dozen times. I was stumbling all over myself with how cute he was. Just like you, Dia Video, you're so cute. So I just kept telling myself I'd be fine. I wanted to get home as quickly as possible before I said or did something embarrassing. I was so distracted thinking about him that I'd crash straight into a stop sign barely 20 feet away. Aww. Thomas! The sweetheart charged right over to see if I was okay. It wasn't a scratch on me, but the car was pretty rough shape. I was terrified of getting in trouble. With, you know, my father. He'd have been so mad to find out what happened. Thomas, since of my dismay, offered to fix it for free and tell my father he needed more time with it to keep me from trouble. So the only condition was that I'd agree to go up to dinner with him this weekend. And I did, and the rest is history. Wow, I totally just guessed it. Love, love. Love's funny like that, isn't it? Was it the accident that drew us together, or was it the attraction that caused the accident? Sometimes I think these things are just meant to happen, you know? Everything happens for a reason. Hoa? It sounds like you two were made for each other, bruh. What was your life like? With Thomas. Well, it wasn't perfect, but they were by far the best years of my life. I'd trade all the ones I got left for just one more lazy summer afternoon with him. Ah, Look how cute. When we were young and everything was new to us, all we needed was our love. Didn't matter that we were poor or hungry. As long as we had each other, we were happier than pigs in mud. We had such great dreams for our life. We plan to travel the world together, see exotic places as a pair. But it never happened. Eventually, though, the bills started piling up, and so Thomas started working longer hours to make men's meet. There were times when I'd have debt collectors knocking on doors, and I wasn't sure we'd make it. I thought myself foolish for being so idealistic in, our, in my youth. Reality hit us a lot harder than we expected. I resented him working so much, even though I knew it was necessary for us to survive. He'd be frustrated with every mistake I made, fearing how far it set us back. The stress of it all would cause us to fight over the most ridiculous things as we scraped by. But they'd always make up anyway. Still, our love was strong enough that our tension always faded once we vented. We'd always make up our vow and dreams double down, I forget. Ugh. We slogged away hoping we'd have a few extra pennies to put away at the end of a month, but we never got very far. As we got older, things got easier, but we were too tired and beat to do anything about it. So you just give up on your dream like that, bruh? We were comfortable and happy together. Eventually, we, we realized that's all we really wanted. It didn't matter where we were or what we were doing, just so long as long as we were together. Besides, it's more than a little impractical and it's packing up your life to chase a silly ideal just like that. Sometimes I regret it, though. Especially when I wonder where we might have been when they started enlisting. When I think about it, it's hard not to get angry at myself for not trying harder. But then how are we to know? I'm sorry. It's a very painful subject for me. Cool. So, Thomas was drafted in the war. I don't care anymore. Dessert. Sorry, Thomas. I'm the handsome guy here. I just love ice cream, don't you? You don't hear me complaining. I've had a really nice time this evening. I'm very happy you came by, D.A. Video. You're so smart and handsome and talented. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I'm glad I came to you, bruh. Still, I want to thank you for spending your time with me tonight, so I have something for you. What's this? It's my husband's baseball cards. He used to collect them when he was a boy. Some of them are quite old. Probably worth quite a bit of money. I want you to have one of them as a token of my appreciation. Keep it in memento, or I'm sure someone will be happy to pay you for it. You can't be serious, can you? Please! I don't know how much you could use the money right now when they're not doing me any good. I'm just sit in the box. I can't even bring myself to look at them anymore. 
I won't take no as an answer from you, dear video. So don't even make a fuss about it. I just don't trust myself not to get all weepy if I see which one you're taking. Some should have picked by the time I return from the washroom. Just close the box when you're done and we won't say another word about it. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Alright, then I'll be back in just a moment. Ah, these cards are really ancient, brah. How about they be worth a small fortune to the right collector? I couldn't do that to Miss Twilliger, though, could I? Ugh. I can't do it. I know I'll probably regret this later, but I can't do it. Guys, if I was... If I marry somebody, if I marry a girl who collected, uh... I don't know, stuffed animals. I couldn't sell the stuffed animals, like, after she died. I'd hang on to them and I'd keep them in a box in my room and stuff. I, I can't take somebody else's memories and happy times. I just I can't do it. This doesn't feel real. This doesn't feel right. That's me talking, not her. I'm sure I'll pull through some other way, brah. I hope I made the right decision, man. Thanks again for having me over, Mrs. Shy So Bob. You're more than welcome. You're a good kid, the video. Here, take some leftovers with ya. Receive the leftover stew. A young person like you needs to eat. Well, won't pay my bills, but it's better than eating junk food. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and have a good night. See you later, so I'm off to bed. All right then, good night. Night one. Bum, bum, bum. It's getting pretty late and I'm beat. I should count up my pennies and see if I can get my rent paid. Between the hundred and three and zero dollars stored in my bank, I got a grand total of hundred three. It's not enough to get me back in my bed. Maybe I can scrounge a few more bucks, but it looks like I'll be sleeping under the stairs tonight. I better go find a comfy street mattress. Can't I, you know, just sneak in my room? Because that's totally what I'm going to do. Is it this one? Can't get back in until the landlord has his money and gives me the key. Oh, because I gave him the key. That's right. I don't have the key. I guess I could look again. They're still effing. They're still effing in the A. I don't know why. They've been doing that all day. Alright, I'm going to leave now. We're gonna go find, uh, remember that girl who I gave the happy pills to? I can get into her place, I think. I'm gonna go find her place. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Mr. Red Shirt Guy. We're gonna go down to the hot chick's house. Where's the hot chick's house? Where's Dirty Dan? Or Don? I don't remember which one it was. I can't go that way. What am I doing? Here we go. It's closed for the night, so that means that chick is back in her house. What is this? This bed's spoken for. You best get out of here before something bad happens to you. <laughs> that lady's crazy, man. Hi, it's you. Oh, it's you there. Hi. Thanks again for getting me here. The pills are so good. Hey, are you alright, bro? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, the colors are so loud, you know? If it's either coming out of me or in me, or I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, look, baby, I don't feel so good right now. Maybe I had too many to eat. Tomorrow I show you, yeah? Bye bye for now. Oh, don't tell me it's still locked. Hello, is someone in there? But that, that was my bed for the night. I spent 50 bucks in that bed. Ah, oh, you suck, lady. Can I, like, sleep on her couch or something? I don't want to die in my sleep. 
I'm gonna go find a bed, I guess. Where are some beds? I don't... I'm so tired, you guys. Oh, I just got home from work, and I worked... So, yesterday I worked, uh, what was it, 14 and a half hours. I got home at midnight last night, and uh, I was asleep by 12.45, 1 o'clock. And then I had to get up at 6 o'clock to go into work again today. So I am pooped. I am mega tired. Mega tired. Oh, and I'm going to cut back on my DAV logs for now. I'm not done with DAV logs by any stretch of the means, guys. I just, I'm beat. I don't have enough time in my life for it right now. So I'm going I'm to play games instead because those are more fun anyway. Some people say sleeping under the stairs is good for the soul. People usually don't park next to dumpsters, do they? Probably not. I wouldn't want to sit next to a dumpster. Is that a bed I could use? It's kind of dangerous and unsanitary. Should I sleep here? Or stay awake. Uh, you have good stamina. You're okay. Actually, I'm gonna eat something before I go to bed. Eat and drink something. I'm gonna have. I just had 11 donuts. Who wouldn't want 11 donuts, guys? <laughs> 11 donuts. Why? Yeah, I sleep here. Hopefully I won't die. Oh, if you die, I'm gonna be so pissed. Did I die? Oh. I'm in a hospital? What? Is this heaven? Why? Oh, it looks like someone left some money for me. 20 bucks, all right. Where the hell am I? <gasps> but! But! It's you! It's butts! Guys, look, it's butts! Uh, do you get video? Is that like you? I'm out on the balcony. Uh, hi butts. You, you're my hero. Well, look who's an early riser this morning. Hey. <laughs> that means I have a, a morning magic going on. Are you okay, dear video? Did you like sleep all right? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny, butts. I'd sleep better if I didn't make such much, so much noise when you're getting ready. Ha, <laughs> grumpy pants, I'm sorry. Is this real? It's not even that early, though. Most people in the world get up before noon. You know, so they can go to work and stuff. Ugh, oh, don't start me on that already. Your mom already got me, gave me an earful last night. Ah, uh, relax, DA video. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Mom's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon, don't stress out. Alright. Once it does, we'll all be able to move back to Dubstown and start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. So this is definitely a flashback. I thought Butts was I thought Butts rescued me from my dumpster. I know. Me too. What else can we do though? Just relax, take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. You're great, bruh. I'm ready for this. Everything's gonna work out just fine, dude. One day we'll look back on this and laugh. <laughs> That's like the spirit. Now give me a kiss before you get coffee breath. Blah, 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 blah. It's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. <laughs> I love you too, babe. But, ugh, I don't wanna go to work today. Yeah, at least you're getting paid though. I'm starting to forget what money even looks like. Ah, that reminds me. I'll have to 20 on your typewriter in case you wanted to order pizza or something. Your mom complained about the leftovers? I thought they were fair game. She wanted to take them with her today. You know, she uh, like totally hates flying on an empty stomach. Right. I like, uh, forgot. Sorry, bruh. We'll have the place all to ourselves, dude. Don't get too excited. 
Orders came from high and high. It's overtime season. You might be on your own for a few nights. Well, there go all my plans, man. Ah, uh, like, don't be so desperate. I know you hate it when I work late. So here, I made you like this. A butt to give you a naughty Polaroid. <gasps> Is it her butt? Is it butt's butt? Aw oh, man, it's not butt's butt. Work hard, play hard. Not butt's butt. Well, at least we can see butt's legs. <gasps> well, there go my new plans, man. <laughs> but I love you. Will you marry me? Think you can secure the lawn soon? Like, unless you're busy writing, of course. Yeah, I'll see if I have time, man. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. I love you, butts. I love your butt, butts. I love butts, butt. I cannot lie. All right, let's go in this store. Oh, it's the teleportation door. Ooh, teleporting. Who doesn't love teleporting doors? Oh, butts, I love you. <gasps> it's an old lady. Good morning, like, man, Casey. Good morning, dear video. Do you know what happened to the sausages I left here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Oh. I ate them. Yeah. I like kind of ate them yesterday, dude. I'm sorry. You just couldn't save any for me, could ya? Rabble, rabble, rabble. I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. Look if it's a colony land, right, dude? It's a military base, DA video. Pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Once you figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings at the poles are so strange. Lately, I'll be home in, like, no time. Man, she has a terrible voice. Do me a favor and help out butts. I'll help out butts. I'll help butts, but I don't want to thaw out him in a messy house. Are you sure you're up for Antarctica? Butts will miss you. Butts will. <laughs> butts will. Butts will. Should I say, yeah, butts will miss you. Butts is gonna miss ya. Uh, there's no reason to worry. I'll be cooped up in my lab all day. Apart from my assistants, there won't be a soul around for miles. You just keep your head in the book of yours. I really hope that contract you've been waiting on will come before I get back. Tell me about it, dude. <gasps> is that a horn? Well, that's my ride. See you when I see you, DA video. Bye, Mom. But I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit. Already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a second. Honk, honk. I gotta go, butts. B to the U to the TTS. Butts, butts. We got them, and you got them. They're like waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Bye, Mom. Butts, you missed her. Mom! Wait, I'm like here. She left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, butts. Your mom's one tough lady. She'll be fine, dude. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything is gonna be a-okay. Oh well, I gotta go to work before I am late. You'll be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you! Dude, love you too. Blah, 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 blah. Give me a call if the contract comes, okay? Yeah, for sure, dude. Wait, but I wanna kiss you. I wanna kiss you, but. Okay. Hello, telephone. Do I feel like eating? Do you feel like, uh, no? Come on, dear video, stop being a butt. <gasps> is that a letter? I'm gonna go down here first, though, because this is what I like to do. I'm gonna go say hi to butts. Say hello to butts, but I wanna go kiss butts, but. When did my contract showed up today in the mail? I'm too excited to watch TV right now. I should go check the mail and see my contract has arrived. I'll play games later. I'm tired of you checking the mail. Mail is stupid. Mail is dumb. Mail is big dumb dumb. But fine, we'll go check it. We'll go check it, DA video. You're not even the real DA video. You're the fake DA video. Hey, what's this paper thing that I saw come in? Hmm, what do we have here, dude? Pizza L'Amour, San Verdano's finest. 20% off. It's the best news I heard all day. Hmm. San Verdano pizza. <gasps> What's this? This is it. OMD. OMG. OMDA video. Holy shit. Give me the contracts here, dude. Downstairs. My calling butts. Yes, I understand. Yes, I know, dude. Yeah, you uh, kind of explained, man. Just that we're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole, peas in a pod, dude. You know what I mean, right? Just really important to me, man. <gasps> it's him again! I understand, DA Video! Sam's your partner, but the facts are the guys upstairs wouldn't like your peas. Times are getting tough, too. You know, business ain't what it used to be. Just enough money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands if you've seen it already. Always will. We'll fund you for the next six months so you can finish what you started, then get back to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, dude, don't worry, man. Great! Now take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once the papers are signed. Then I get the wife off my back and we can go out for supper or a drink. I'm buying! That sounds... Swell. That sounds swell. Alright! I'll wait for your call! Speak with you soon, DA Video! Ooh, what do I win? 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 Win, win, I win, I win, 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 because I win and I am the best. I'm deep a video and I'm here to say 89 cents is what I'm gonna pay. Boo da boo doo. Wraps over. This is everything I ever wanted, right, man? What should I do? Sign it. I need this deal. This is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. <gasps> I'm alive? Day or morning, too. I did it. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you, dear video. Well, that dream felt so real, dude. Ugh. Far from reality, though, man. I wonder what she's doing now. I'm gonna go start writing my journal again. She completed a journal page. Ooh, what's it say? What's my journal say? Journal. Oh, I should save. Can I have like another dozen donuts? I'll have another don I'll have another dozen donuts if I can. Well, can I read my journal?
Tabula Rasa. Blank pages from my journal. That's awesome. At least move of the mail is here. <gasps> Hi, old man. Whoa, deadbeat. You look even more like shit than normal. That curbside nap teacher not pay the bills yet. I'm just here for my mail and the stuff out of my apartment, then I'm gone. Dude. <laughs> yeah, right. You still owe me for the last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those ratty old clothes and appliances for a while. If you ever find enough cash to get your key back, your stuff will be waiting for you, man. But who am I kidding? Deadbeat, it will never pay rent. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, before I forget, when I was in there cleaning the place up for shovelings, I came across something I think you probably want to hold on to. You know, to remind me of the days before your life turned to absolute shit. <laughs> Good luck, deadbeat. I am not going to miss that guy. Whoa. It's been a long time since I've seen this. Got the naughty Polaroid pack. He <laughs> probably jerked off of this, too. Not butch legs. Must be missing the mail today. A wedding invitation. Join us in San Bernardino's historic Faith Chapel for a night of celebra celebration as we join hands in holy matrimony and say our vows. Oh, no. It's Butts, isn't it? Butts is getting married. Butts is getting married. I know it. I feel it. I sense it. It's Butts. It's Butts. It's Butts. Butts getting married. Butts gonna get married. What the fuck is this, Butts? <laughs> what the fuck is this, Butts? You've moved on without... You've moved on without me after a year... I'm totally after that up. More than that, you're getting married. Come on, butts. It's at the end of the month. Jesus Christ, butts. No, I can't get angry. I will not get upset. We broke up. She can do whatever the hell she wants. Why the hell would you invite me, though? In San Rodano, no less. I love the place, but god damn, that's cold. I have an idea. Are you testing me? What do you want? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Dot, 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 dot. Well, at least my check's finally here. I can do with some extra cash right about now. Do I have enough money? Rabble, rabble, rabble. 250 What the fuck, Larry? I think supposed to be thousands of dollars. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Something's gotten really, really wrong here. I, I need to give Larry a call pronto. I need that money. Without it, there's no way I'll be able to get to her in time before the wedding, dude. I need to stop Butts wedding. I need to stop Butts from getting married. Let's just give Larry a call, dude. <gasps> That's my doggy. Hello! Larry Hunter speaking. They hunt all the Larrys in the world. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the fuck happened? Hey, DA video! I've been expecting your call, actually. 250. 250. 250! Who the hell can live off of that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know that contract you signed for us that said we could pay you back as so long as you produced us a book? That little paperback we were supposed to finish drafting, uh, you know, ages ago? Is it, you know, ringing any bells at all? Well, that contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. Come on. I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake, you know, my ass is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My ass is not roasting. It's goddamn freezing. I slept in a fucking alleyway last night, Larry. A fucking alleyway. Shit. I'm sorry to hear that, DA video. You understand this is business, though, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We face best in your potential. Because I'm serious that I was made, made a bad bet and decided that, some, that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if, I, even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing that I can do about it. Nothing. I'm sorry. So, what now? What do you mean? We're done. That's it. Finito. I had to fight to get you the check they're holding now, DA Video. 
There's nothing left for you. Nothing. No, that can't be it, man. That can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verdano. San Verdano. I don't know how to say it. What the hell are you going to do all the way across the country? Arrgh! Butts getting married. Butts is getting married. <laughs> Butts is. Ah. It's all starting to make sense now. You really miss her, huh? Alright, fine. I hope you will. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. But you gotta make this count. Alright, alright. That's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dumpstown and come meet me at Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Verdana when I know you don't have enough money for a flight. So don't even bitch to me about that. What's the catch? That journal of yours, the one you write in every night before you go to bed. At the end of the month, I want it. Whatever's in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell. Even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's gonna lose her shit if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine. Fine. That's fair, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great! Then we've got a deal. Except for the one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it! Does it do everything for you? Sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after hanging up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be some work for you. Patrick over the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers. We can go way back, so we, any, recommend, can, any recommendation I give is golden. High rung ad agency. Used to do our marketing, but I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry. I won't. Thank you. See you in a few days. Boop -a -doo, ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Hi, doggy. Doggy. Woof. Oh, look how cute. Come back, doggy. Woof, woof. Aw. Is that a birdie? Is that a birdie? Oh, I can't get up there, can I? Alright, fine. Boop boop beep boop 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 ba doo boop ba doo boop ba dee bam ba da bam ba dam bam ba doo. <gasps> oh, it's the video game place again. Hi, friend. I was king of the city not long ago. Now I'm just human garbage. I like this guy. What? <coughs> huh? Huh? <coughs> oh. I used to be a taxidermist, you know. Uh, good to know. Huh. 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 All right. Dogs wanted. Championship training and motivation program. I could definitely turn that turn to that pup for a few bucks. I guess, better, I guess I better take down that number. Okay. Come on, doggy. I'm gonna call it Dark F. Hey, Darky. Dark. Darkness. Hey, you were the king of good times. Leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. This is Viper, and I'm screening my calls. Cut it out, because I'm not answering. No answer. Dogs wanted. Hello? Is this dog? Yes, this is dog. I mean, I mean I've mean, i got a dog. I've got a dog with me. I'm not a dog. Alright. You want to sell it? 100 bucks? No. 
I'm not gonna sell my doggy. I'm gonna name you. Oh, we gotta look at him. I'm gonna try and name him. I'm gonna name him Teddy. I'm gonna name you Teddy. Hi, Teddy. It's me, the video. Hi, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. I love Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Have you seen these dog wanted posters around town? They say you can get top dog from bringing a raisin off the street. That's fantastic, man. Nation's Bank. I don't need you. I got all my money out. I don't even have any money to begin with. Empire's Pub. I do have enough to get a drink. But when don't you? Right. 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 Well, I can cross over now. Employment Center. Like this place will hire just about anybody. It's rather close for a civic holiday. What the hell is Temporary work Workers Day anyway? It means if you're a temporary worker, then you're good. Impossible Futures. Child Development. Close the day for field trip. Okay. Ooh, it's a birdie. I'm gonna go talk to the bus station lady. Where would you like to go today? Eight hundred dollars. I have a hundred dollars. I have to get my check. I have to get my check cashed. Let's go back to the bank. Go into the bank. Go into the bank. I guess I could do this, right? Checking balance. Zero dollars. But how do I get... How do I get your... Uh, how do I get my check cashed? I guess I have to go to the bank, right? Or go to a drugstore. Or a Walmart. Is there a Walmart around here somewhere? I like Walmart. Walmart's cool. Ah, wrong way. I just want to find my Walmart. Hi, man. Do you have check cashing? Sure, that'll be no problem. Can I have your first name and pin name? First name is DA Video. My pin is 1119. Okay, just give me a moment to pull up your account info. Huh? Ah, oh, yes, here you are. Is there a problem? Not at all. I'll see if you can answer your top secret security question for me and I can go ahead and make that deposit for you. Wait, I need a security question to deposit money? Security question is in a place for your protection, sir. Question is, what did you always dream of becoming when you were a child? Oh, I know, I know. I know, 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 I know. You. YouTube. YouTubes. Haha, <laughs> what? YouTubes? <laughs> yeah, I figured YouTubes would be easy to remember. That's no problem at all. To each their own, I say. Money has been deposited. You can withdraw it whenever you'd like it from any from any of our not so conveniently located ATMs. I mean, like over here. I wanted to be YouTube's. Ooh, 250, 250. $353. I'll take it. I need, five, I need like 450 more. So I'm going to go work for my good friend uh, newspaper man. If I can find out where the newspaper office is. Because I don't recall. Hello, birdie. It's a birdie. Koopa -doo -doo. Hey, who's this guy? He looks new. I almost got hit by a car the other day. Let me drop my coffee and everything. You can sleep here, but I might knife you in your sleep. Uh, no, 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 thank you. I, I'd rather not be knifed if, if that's okay, lady. That lady looked crazy. Crazy hot, am I right, guys? 
It's a bus. Can I sneak on a bus? It's a hospital. There's a... Oh, I don't know what that is. Hi, wrong ad agency. Hey, sorry. We're like super busy today. We don't have time for dropping clients. Actually, my name is DA Video. I was told you might have some work. Ah, you must be the kid Larry called about. We're about in a crisis mode at the moment and could really use your help. Yeah. He said something about your copywriter leaving. Well, I suppose you could say that. He was fired! Oh, well, what happened? We had a meeting yesterday and Jack kind of flew off the handle for no apparent reason. At least not when we could understand anyway. He'd been displaying some odd behavior over the past few months, but this was dramatically uncharacteristic. Would have been exceedingly uncomfortable not to mention dangerous even around. What happened? Well, it all started after he got back from his vacation night last year. Before then, Jack has always been an asset of the company, but something changed. He kept talking about how nothing we were doing was right and how we were messing with the natural order of things with our work. At first, we chalked it up to some new liberal hippie nonsense, but as time went on, the, he grew increasingly hostile to everyone around him. Nobody knew how to deal with it. Even the simplest request started a fight. It's like he's trying to sabotage the business. It was our meeting yesterday about the pitch here, over here to work on that finally pushed Sullivan over the edge and got him canned, though. He started yelling about how we were poisoning people's minds and how none of the other bullshit mattered. It's kind of scary. The kicker was when he told us nobody was needed to reevaluate our lives and that nobody would care if some scum-sucking salesman wound up with a bullet in them. He said it all while staring Sarah at Sullivan with the most sinister glance. Really gave everybody the creeps. Sullivan had to fire Jack on the spot and he just thrummed out more furious than ever. None of us knew what to say. This sounds intense, dude. Oh boy. Tell me about it. Anyway, this is the long and short of why we need your help. We can't prepare this pitch for tomorrow without a writer. Jack's desk is over there with a the campaign notes ready for you. If you're ready to start working, I'll get you situated with a cup of coffee. It's going to be a long night. Final draft is due tomorrow when we're all pulling overtime to get her finished. So ready to get started? Hell yeah. Let's get down to business. Excellent. Follow me. Just what I need. Another boring desk job. So they've written out a test sheet for me. Complete the copy, stable it all together, organize it, and hand it off. Sounds easy. Guess I can get started. Alright, looks like we're doing an ad for Island Buzz Soda. Should be easy enough. I need to pick a catch line. Get buzzing, mon. Yeah, people will love that. Island Buzz Soda. Get buzzing, mon. Alright, now I've got to flesh out all the body text. I need to pick a feature to highlight and write about that. Uh, authentic island flavors. Made from age old recipe from far off tropical islands, Island Buzz Soda is the closest you can get to authentic island flavor without a plane ticket. All this writing about the soda is making me kind of thirsty. Almost done. Now I need something killer to close it off with. We need a big claim to hit the reader. Fewer calories, less of vitamin C, improves complexion. <laughs> Colonoscopist recommended. Four out of five doctors agree that a can of Island Buzz Soda every day can offer the same benefits of routine, or routine colonoscopies. If you ever wanted a pole in your ass, drink this soda. I'm sure that'll appeal to someone out there. Alright, looks like it's all done. Island Buzz Soda, get buzzing, man. If we're an age-old recipe from far off tropical islands, Island Buzz Soda is the closest you can get to an authentic island flavor without a plane ticket. And four out of five doctors agree that a can of Island Buzz Soda every day can offer the same benefits of routine colonoscopies. I guess that sounds pretty good. Hell yeah. Let's get it done. It's as good as it's gonna get. I just need to find out where Jack kept his stapler. Stapler, come out to play. Nope, not there. Stapler, stapler, where are you? Paper clips, old newspaper, box of handgun ammo. Aha, stapler. Okay. Wait, what? What would Jack have an empty box of handgun ammo on his desk for? I don't know who Bailey is, but I'm gonna tell him or her. 
Hey, Bailey! Can you come here for a sec? Oh, he's coming very slowly, but he's on his way. Sorry, guys. I guess it's just super laggy right now. Lag, master, lag, master. I'm going to wrap here till he comes. Hey, do you have video? You look different, man. How's everything going? The writing is fine. Why does Jack have an empty box of handgun ammo in his desk? Okay. <gasps> he does? Guys, this is like laggy. Super lag. He does? Jesus. I knew the guy liked to go hunting in the some years. But the year, there's no reason he should have that here. Okay, this lagging is getting on my nerves. Lag, master, lag, master. You don't think. No, he wouldn't. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. Guys, I might fast forward here. Just don't you worry about this. For now, okay. Bum ba da bum ba bum ba ba do boo ba da boo. Thanks for bringing it to my attention, though. Do mm, me a favor and keep the this quiet, would you? Everyone's. Already panicked enough. Huh, I just said that. As it is. If you're sure. I can't get fired for it. If you're sure. Oh, the slagging guys is terrible. If you're sure. The last thing I want to do is freak people out. So, like, everyone's already pretty high strung. Thanks. I promise I'll make this look good after. I just have to figure out how to bring this up delicately yo 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 I don't like to brag and I don't like to boast but I like hot butter on my breakfast toast wicka 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 what what wicka wicka what wicka 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 breakfast toast hot butter breakfast toast yeah yeah the situation here is a lot more dire than I thought oh gotta get my work done quick and get the hell out of here. Yes, I do. Yes, I sure do. There we go. All stapled up. Okie doke. Okie doke doke. Okie doke doke doke. -doke. Just need to find the ad copy folder and I can leave now. Not quite done with the ad copy yet. I don't think they'd take kindly to me slacking off while they're all buckling down for this deadline. Should I read over it? No, I, I already know it. Where is that blasted folder? What's this, a book? No, this is, this is part of a play. Seems neat, but I don't know if I have time to flip through it. Yes, I do. The Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller, page 98. I suppose that's my fault. I stole myself out from every good job since high school. And whose fault is that? And if I never get anywhere because you blew me so full of hot air, I could never stand taking orders from anybody. That's whose fault it is. I hear that. Don't, Biff. It's goddamn time you heard that. I'd be big boss. I'd be boss big shot in two weeks and I'm through with it. Then hang yourself for spite. Hang yourself. 
No! Nobody's hanging himself, will he? I ran down 11 flights with a pen in my hand today, and suddenly I stopped, you hear me? And in the middle of that office building, do you hear this? I stopped in the middle of that building, and I saw the sky! I saw the things that I love in the world. The work, the food, the time to sit and smoke. I looked at the pen and said to myself, what the hell am I grabbing? I fooled myself with all the time watching for me. Why, why can't I say that, will he? The door of life is wide open. Pop, I'm a dime a dozen, and so are you. Uh, I hope you guys got it. If you wanted to read Death of a Salesman, which is a fantastic play in, in reality, read it. Now, where's that folder? There you are. Time to head off to the art department and get this to the madhouse. <gasps> After noon, too. Whoa. Hello. I won. Dippity doo da boo boo. Where's art department? Where is art department? I'm slagging no longer. Hi, dear video. What can I do for you? Nothing much, I guess. I felt like Chen. Me too, but I'm swamped right now. We can catch each other later. Sure. Yo, new guy. Why'd you go to work or something? We can't pay people to just sit around and work all day. Hey, new guy. Buzz off. But I do sort of. I'm looking for the art department. Can't you see I'm busy? Bailey's head is an art department. For oh. He is. Okay. Figure out what you want me to do about the inventory on Jack's desk? Well, I've thought about it a lot. There's no way Jack would do that. Must have had just a box left over from some weekend he went hunting. I mean, let's face facts. The guy's a bit weird, but that doesn't mean he should assume the worst in him. Heck, if he even was that kind of guy, I don't think making a big fuss out of an unlikely possibility is the right move. I'm gonna bring this up with Sullivan, though, don't you worry. Let's try and carry on today without thinking about this. He's me the willies. If you say so, just know I'm getting the heck out of here as quickly as I can, so let's finish this up fast. Here's the final copy for the ad. Guess you guys add art to it or something now. Am I finished? Well, not quite. Lee and I need to apply some art to it, and then it needs to be get approved by Roger and Darius. There are salesmen that kind of run the show in terms of what gets put before the clients. Sullivan still gets final say, but their opinions matter a lot. I'll get Lee started on some sketches. Take the text over to Roger and Darius for their approval in the meantime. We should be done by the time they're finishing working your work apart. Working my work apart sounds fun. Anything to get the process moving, I guess. Hey, before you go, do you mind if I ask you one question? It's about Jack. Sure, shoot. I know most of the people here think Jack was a pretty radical guy, but the truth is, he never really did anything to hurt me. I was never really friends with the guy or anything, but he was always really hard to approach. Still, I regret not trying a little harder while he was still here. I was thinking of giving him a phone call to offer my condolences. Think it's worthwhile, or would he just bite my head off thinking he was teasing him? Uh, I would say... The guy quit. He wasn't really friends with him. Don't make him feel even worse about it. Don't call him. Don't waste your, charms, time, don't waste your time trying to befriend the guy now, dude. If you wanted to stay on your good terms, I'm sure he'd be calling you, not the other way around, man. You're probably right. It's more trouble than it's worth. If working together wasn't enough to make us friends, I doubt a phone call the after the fact would. Amen, brother. Hi, Roger Darius. Well, well, well. Writer's boy is finally ready to show off his work. All right, let's have a look at what you got. Don't be, don't be too mean to me. It's bound to be better, it's bound to be better than Jack's crap. Am I right? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Let's see. Island Buzz Soda. Get buzzing, man. Cool. Guess that works. Hey, Roger, are we going to be buzzing tonight or what? You know what I'm saying, bro? That's how I talk, apparently, according to DA Video. I don't really. Yeah, we'll be buzzing all right. Buzzing all night long, brother. Yeah, I like this kid. Way better than Jack. What are you going to say? What you say, kid? You cool or what? Sure. If you say so, dude. I guess so, man. Dude, where's your damned confidence? I'm telling you another square like Jack. Right. Well, now that you're done improving the header, can I go? Yeah, I guess. And Jesus, you writer types are all the same. Always trying to get in and out of the job as quick as possible. With your damn company spirit. Yeah, man, he's just like Jack. All the same, bro. All the same. You know, I bet that scumbag Jack's probably trying to get a new job with our competition right now. I'll be damned before I let anyone who disrespects us like he did survive to work anywhere else. Got half a mind to send word to everyone and know, telling them that this bastard will ruin them if they give them a chance. You think I'll put him in his place? What do you say, cool kid? Is it payback time or what? 
Uh, no. No, 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 no. Why? He has ammo in his desk. He probably has a gun with him somewhere. He's gonna shoot himself in the head if you be a jackass to him. Why not take this chance to be, a big, to be the bigger man? I say let it go. The guy's already in a personal hell with having his lost his job. No need making things worse. I'd hire that psycho again myself just so I could fire him all over again. But you've got a point, kid. Let's get him out of the... Let's let him go stout. He's done anyway. So, am I done or what? Can I wrap this up with Lee and go to the art attached? Oh, not so fast. I said you're clear, but Roger ain't said squat. Best get both our approval. We're a team and shit, right, bro? Wolf back! Tunnel snakes rule. Let's have a look side of the, let's have a looky at the body text. Don't wanna find out you snuck in any of that hippie bullshit like Jack is always yammering on about. Yeah man, writers are all hippies. I disagree, but hey. You've got him pegged, bruh. Alright, let's see. Made from an age-old recipe, far from far off tropical islands. Island Buzz Soda is the closest you can get to an authentic island flavor without a plane ticket. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Give him a little taste of the tropics, bikinis and shit. Woohoo, yeah! Sexy babes with their stuff hanging out. Alright, cool. This should be fine. It's not like anyone actually reads anyway. No offense, but reading is for nerd. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! I am a nerd and proud of it. You're not a nerd though, right? I'm no idiot. Well, I'm no idiot. Call me a nerd if you like, I guess. <laughs> Smoking like a true point, Dexter. Seriously though, nerds are smart as hell. I'll give you props on that one, man. Yeah. So am I done now? Well, you're clear by me, I guess. You seem pretty smart, though, so let me ask you a question while you're here. Jack is really embedded in our company. What's the deal with Jack? Let Jack go. He's gone. He's fired. Finito. He's gone. Let him just go. Like, he knows every little dirty secret we've got. It's a huge risk for us, professionally, if we decided to talk. Thankfully, I'm in charge of our client Rolodex and can get the drop on him with a little preemptive damage control. Let them all know he's a nutter. I think it's worth the time giving about our clients a call to let them know about Jack having a few screws loose. Give us a little distance if we talked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, like I said earlier, he's going to shoot himself in the head if you're mean to him. So, no. Sounds a little paranoid, dude. Is it really worth sabotaging this guy's reputation just because you're afraid of their own dirty laundry? Well, when you put it that way, better not, better not disturb the pot, right? Besides, most everyone knows he's batshit crazy anyway. Alright, you're free to go. Cause it's time to get Lee to slap her doodles on it. She's a cute blonde over there at her desk. Uh, that one probably, right? Or is it the boss? I'm gonna go talk to the boss. Hey boss! I'm the new guy. We're gonna be best friends forever. Boss man. Boss man. This guy. I don't know his name. Please get the hell out of my office. Oh, I was trying to be nice, brah. Roger and Darius actually liked your stuff. Color me impressed. These guys have really high standards. They were always giving Jack shit while he was here, but I can't really blame him. The guy was nuts. Personally, I'm glad Jack got fired. Can't quite put my finger on it, but something about him always felt a little pervy to me. Every time I turn around, he's looking straight at my desk and would turn away almost immediately. He came in the creeps like you wouldn't believe. I wanted to tell him off forever to let him know that he didn't have a shot. The baggage just wouldn't have been too much before he left the office. I think he's gonna con confront him without the bullshit, but I guess I don't know if I was just reading the situation wrong or not. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and say... If you turn him down now, after he's gone, he's never going to see you again, let him go before he kills himself in the head. Let him go. Uh, doesn't seem that strange. It's really hard to know what other people are thinking. Doesn't seem that strange, I guess. Maybe he just wanted a friend. We don't know, do we? He did seem kind of lonely. Maybe he did just want someone to talk to. Either way, he never really did anything, so I can't call him too much. All right. Well, here's a sketch. Would you mind taking it to Sullivan for final approval for me? You gotta tell me what I do before I can leave. Yeah, sure. I said it would be good to show a little initiative. Great, here you go. He's probably in his office, gabbing away on the phone. Add pitch document. Can I see it? 
I'm gonna save too. Well, save here. Wow, I've been playing this for almost two hours. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. Hi, Sullivan. Wanna tell me I'm awesome? Sorry to bother you, Sullivan. I've got the ad picture document if you wanted to take a look at it. Of course I do. What took you so long? Gave Sullivan the ad pitch document. All right, let's have a look here. You've got to be kidding me. Island Buzz Soda? Get buzzing, man. I mean, I've seen some amateur work in my day, but this is a joke. It's time like this to remind me just how important Jack was here. Despite his recent behavior and volatile personality, he was one of the best copywriters I've ever seen. Part of me wants to go offer him some work as an arm's length contributor to the agency, but I don't know if it's worth dealing with his perpetual madness. Do you think it's worth my time offering him a chance to contribute, or would that effort spent managing him be a waste of my energy? Cut your losses. Cut your losses. Let him go away. Never come back. Cut your losses, man. You're running a business, not a charity. If the guy was impossible to manage while he was here, what makes you think now would be different? You're right. I'm going to put my feelings aside and do what's right for the company. Jack may have been an asset, but an uncontrollable asset is still a liability. Right. So it's too late to change any of this stuff now, even if even though it's awful. Left to hope the client likes it. So can I get paid now? Pay you? For this? God, no. Garbage is always free. Fuck you. What? I wasted a whole day here. Waste is right. I could have crapped out better work, but I've had enough to deal with today already. Go talk to Julie. She handles all of our HR stuff. Tell her I said you're done for the day and she'll give you something for your time. 50 sounds fair to me. Come back tomorrow with the client like your stuff, I'll get a proper bonus. Alright, see you tomorrow. Go back with the pitch. With regard to this, we're gonna need it. Now, if you'd kinda get the hell out of my office, I've got a call to make. You're a dick. You are a dick, sir. 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 Hi, Julie. Sullivan sent me. He said I'm done for the day and mentioned you'd be willing to pay me for my time. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry if this day has been a bit of a mess. We, we're all just a bit frazzled after this morning. We really appreciate you stepping in. I don't know if anyone told you, but you really saved our butts. <laughs> she said butts. I miss butts. Without Jack's work done, we'd have no pitch. I don't know what to do about Jack. He was a big part of our success in the early days, but something was something got the better of him along the road. Good work needs to be rewarded, but I don't know whether I can read send him a send him the letter of recommendation to request it based on how he was fired. Sending that letter means overlooking his recent transgressions, but not sending it means ignoring his talents. Forgive and forget. I don't think a single mark on someone's record could strike them out forever. He might not fit the ecosystem anymore, but it's important to forgive and forget. You're right. And smart. And handsome. And talented. And amazing. Dia video. He really has done us a good, a lot of good, and it would be wrong not to recognize that in the light of recent events. Thanks a lot for your perspective. I appreciate your honesty. How much does Sullivan say I can have? So I can have 50 now and check back tomorrow for the rest if the client liked it. Oh, Sullivan. I'm sorry if that seems unfair, but I'm bound by his decision. I'll do what I can to make sure there's something for you and more for you tomorrow. Julie paid 50 bucks. So hungry. I need to eat something. Can I have a dozen donuts again? Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Is there a microwave here that I can to totally steal and borrow? Oh, I guess there probably is somewhere. I have enough money for food though, I should be okay. So let me go to the grocery store or something. There's a bacon barn and a uh, grocery store over here. There's a grocery store. Let's go get some man meat. Hi, former DA video. You're not as cool as I am now. You here to buy some meat? Yes. Do 
dirty mackerel. I gotta get dirty mackerel and not cook them. Five dirty mackerels, and we're gonna eat them all right now. But it said I didn't need to cook it. Damn. I'm gonna sell them back. You suck. I can't sell the meat, but I don't want to cook. I'm not a cook. Fine, I'm going to buy something from you. I'm going to buy some... All you have is beer. I didn't find some like meat or something to eat. I'll have some apples. You don't have any apples? Fine, I'm gonna go to the bacon barn. Cause I'm super hungry, I don't wanna die. Yeah, dying is not part of the plan of this game. And there's the bacon barn. Well, I'm gonna go talk to my friend, the girl who lives somewhere. I'm gonna Dubstown Bacon Barn. How am I gonna bacon up your day? Give me some bacon donuts, man. Give me 83 bacon donuts. Two of those. One of those. Bacon shake and a bacon burger. I might be crazy, but food is pretty good. Ooh, yeah. we go. I won't die tonight. I'm not gonna die tonight. Okay. So, let's go find somewhere to sleep. I'm gonna go check the... I'm gonna go check this house. See if this girl wants my friendship. Strange music coming from inside. I just saved. I don't know what to say right now. I am speechless. So you're gonna stand there gawking or are you gonna join in? Never mind. Awkward, huh? I know I gave my spare key to somebody. Completely blanked out for that whole night. These pills were amazing, by the way. So I got a few of you around tonight. I asked for my key back, but there's no way of knowing if I made tons of copies. You gave out your spare key? Damn it, Haley. I guess you're living with us now. But since you've been having doors. You know, I thought this whole open concept thing was going to be fun, but it's really not. They're giving random dudes our keys. They're coming over in the middle of the night. Did you already see my dick? I'm sure you already saw my dick. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This is DA Video, the smart, handsome, tail of the day, amazing guy who was completely straight. He's the one who scored me that stuff from Don. I put him over to meet us, but I forgot. I'm sorry, Bradley's still not used to this. We're a very open couple, but he's still adjusting. First of all, I don't think there's anything wrong giving a key to someone you're expecting to be in intimate with. And by intimate, you mean... I was hoping to be interested in helping Bradley and I explore trifecta energies. You're talking about a threesome? Yeah, sorry, let me explain. Brad and I don't really believe in monogamy. It's an unfair shackling of our human nature. With a more open perspective of sexuality, we both find life to be more fulfilling without all the distractions it usually brings. Yeah, it's like a fucking riot. Most of the time there's just 
means finding some dude like you banging her like you just did. Every once in a while, though, it's like some smoking hot beauty in her, though. Makes it all worthwhile. You don't mind about Brad, do you? Sorry, I didn't mention him earlier. I, uh... Because if I was in a situation that was maybe the exact words I would say. Well, I wouldn't rush you on anything. We'll both be out tonight, so this place is yours. Gotta run to the store for more body oil. You just get you any? I'm pretty good, thanks. You can sleep at home. You can sleep on the couch if you like. I would the bed. It's still a little, um, messy. boop a doo Uh, thanks, I guess. You know what? This is gonna be at least $20. No. Some love candles. Way too many stains. Uh, you know what? Honestly, honestly, if I had no place to live, a couch anywhere in the world would be better than his bed. Yeah. Ye no, shoot. The next morning. Yay, morning three. Way too many stains. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. I have a place to live. That's important, right? Guys, I noticed before that whole, uh, whatever you want to call that room, what just happened in there. So I've been playing for two, over two hours now, so it's time for me to call this part a quit. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, because I am loving it. I am DA Video, and I am now signing on out of here. Bye, everybody!